Hi, my name is Vic McEwen. I'm the Artistic Director of the CAD Factory, which is a regionally based multi-arts organisation in the Riverina district of New South Wales. The work of the CAD Factory and the work of my own practice very much holds central the idea that what maybe different art forms have in common is about they're in deep consideration of something. You know, so a painter is in deep consideration of paint and, and their art form in terms of painting, its history, its development, etc. When I take my practice outside of a studio and put it in relationship to people and put it in relationship to place or put it in relationship to trauma, then I can have that same deep consideration about what's before me. And so central to that, I think, is about human relationships. So the relationships that are formed in, say, a hospital space or with a family whose child is not well or with you know, members of the community under, undergoing certain traumas or, or whatever the situation might be. So we've been working on a project with the community down in Falls Creek in the Victorian Alps. The Alpine Region Management Committees all got together and commissioned an independent report into the effects of climate change on the ski season. When that report came back, it indicated that within 10 years that the ski season would re be reduced to only three weeks per year. And so, you know, of course, that's kind of scary information in many ways. What I think was astonishing about the response was that Falls Creek in particular decided that one way we could address this is to engage with the arts. And so, you know, at the beginning of that project, I was really interested in the idea that in order for communities to really to stop and to, to look at really complex situations that they're facing, that we have to be able to explore them emotionally before we can explore them practically. So it was really about just, you know, traveling to Falls Creek and working slowly with that community, trying to understand what does it mean for people that rely on snow, for economic livelihood, but also for that sense of identity. And the responses to that at the beginning within that community are really fascinating in that they weren't what we expected because whilst there is some people in Falls Creek who prepared or are already understanding that you know, climate change is something that's going to have a major impact on them, there's a lot of community members who just didn't want to accept that because skiing is what they do. They didn't want to accept climate change because we've always skied here. And so through these sort of really slow processes over a number of years of meeting with community members there and trying to have these conversations, we're trying to allow a community to explore what that means for them. So we started this project by me working in the local school. Working with those students, we I undertook a number of workshops with them and then took photographic portraits of them and then went to the top of Mount McKay, that's sort of tallest mountain in the region, and projected their portraits onto clouds. But then we were able to re-photograph these and take these other images that, that sort of transformed the kids because they're now children whose photographs have been taken and being projected onto a shifting environmental condition in this landscape that's undergoing big impacts in terms of its environment. And then re-photographing those to make these new portraits of the kids projected onto clouds. Then took all of those photographs back into the school in order to have those conversations with students. You know, what does this mean to see this image? And what does it mean for all of the animals, for example, that are in this environment that are nearly extinct anyway and are only in these regions that actually don't exist in other regions of Australia? So it was about using creative processes in order to slowly engage in conversation, to slowly allow it to be sort of opened up for students in that case, to kind of talk about what does it mean not to have snow there. And so it's been a long process of doing this type of work, of going down there and conducting residencies and always conducting artistic sort of explorations that are in some way in relationship to the environments. One of the main outcomes that I see from a lot of the work that we're doing, it gives people a sense of themselves. And creative processes allow space for different opinions. I think there's, there's many avenues through a whole variety of artistic processes that we can undertake that can enable some of that emotional navigation to happen. And then, you know, as I mentioned earlier, that you know, my practice really believes that from that emotional navigation, we can look to practical navigations. We can look to practical outcomes and how we can you know, solve or not necessarily solve, how we can just look at situations. But the outcome of those processes are always tied to mental health and to well-being, even if those weren't a focus for any of these projects, because through the process we're enabling people to have a voice and we're enabling people to feel like they were heard, regardless of whether there was any real impact from their viewpoint. I think that becomes central to the way that we can look back to nearly all of our past socially engaged work 
to say there are all of these artistic outcomes. There are artistic outcomes that delivered on the initial brief, if you like. But also what we did was enable people to understand the world differently. It was enable people to understand that there is a way to try to communicate those things that you don't have words to express. Because sometimes that ends up in, in violence or frustration or poor mental health or a lack of well-being for people. And so all of these things, whether they're the, the aim of a project or not, if we are taking our artistic practice out into engagement with community, out into engagement with people, if they're established in this kind of way, then in every instance of, of the past CAD Factory's work, I can look to and speak to evidence of increases in well-being for people, and also I would say increases in people's, the positive nature of people's mental health or their mental health experience.